The Obama administration has tightened travel terms regarding Iran, Iraq, Syria, and Sudan, under rules that also make travel to the U.S. harder for some Europeans. While the new rules took effect yesterday, they create new visa requirements for both dual nationals and also anyone who's traveled to those countries in the last five years. Critics of the law argue that reciprocity agreements between nations will mean visa restrictions for some Americans traveling to Europe and that the law also undercuts Obama's diplomacy with Iran. Well, there's a lot of uh, controversy going on about these new visa requirements. Effectively, 38 countries, including UK, France, can visit the United States for up to 90 days on this tourist visa. Well, now, if you're a dual national, so if you're, let's say, English, but you have an Iranian passport because your mother or your grandmother was Iranian, you, you now have a whole new set of requirements. You could be denied entry. You'll have to go through a whole new set of uh, interviews. Your permit, your visa waiver will be revoked. And also, if you've traveled to one of those four countries in the last five years, your visa waiver will be revoked. And it looks like, Joe, you know, this is being done under the guise of the anti-terrorism law, and it looks more like to me that it's diplomatic relations that are at play here, because if you remember the San Bernardino shooter, his wife came on a fiancé visa. She was originally Pakistani. They met in Saudi Arabia. Neither one of those countries are listed in this uh, new yeah, law. Yeah, it's very interesting, the countries that have been um, highlighted here. Uh, we're talking about the fact that these visa requirements are in the aftermath of the terror attacks in Paris. They are in the aftermath of the San Bernardino attacks. It really is about curbing terrorism and stopping radicalized people from entering the United States. How, however, as you rightly point out, um, these four countries, you know, are they the right four countries? There are peace talks going on on Monday about Syria. The Syria peace talks. And Kerry has actually announced that these will, will no longer be going on on Monday. They're going to be delayed at least a couple of days because they're unable at the moment to determine which countries to invite and which not, because it's very difficult to draw that line between which countries are deemed terrorist opposition and which countries aren't. Yet they've managed somehow to already, ahead of those peace talks, list that these four countries are those where people who hold a passport can't can't enter the United States. It, it's strange. How is this stopping terrorism? And, you know, do you think that this is centered around perhaps the diplomatic issue that we're having with Iran at the moment? They're, they're conveni conveniently lumped in to this group? Somehow? Yes, and Iran is also listed with Sudan and Syria as state sponsors of terrorism. So that seems to to me, to mean that really a lot of this is about U.S. relations Political. with Iran. We haven't singled out Saudi Arabia. We haven't singled out Pakistan. And those were countries that were involved in that San Bernardino attack in terms of the two attackers having met uh, in Saudi Arabia and obviously the wife having come from Pakistan. So there's a lot of controversy about these new requirements. It's certainly going to rile up many Europeans who have um, dual passports or have visited these countries in the last few years. Uh, a British-Iranian journalist this week from the BBC was kept from, uh, from boarding the plane. Her visa waiver was denied. They are going to make exceptions for journalists and uh, for people traveling with legitimate business readings, uh, reasons, but there will be a series of interviews that take place. I imagine a lot of secondary inspections going on, and I imagine also a lot of very disgruntled people.